What does the future hold for Eric Matoho? Welcome to Phoenix. Forgettable season. Matoho's 10th campaign as a Kaiser Chiefs player turned out to be a disheartening one for himself and the team. The man nicknamed Tower due to his imposing height was a regular fixture in the Amek Hossi starting lineup in the first round of the season, but the veteran centre-back was dropped and ignored a few months into this year with the team struggling to win matches consistently. However, even without Tower, the Soweto Giants were unconvincing and ultimately ended the term trophyless as they were booted out of the MTN 8 in the first round. Amak Hossi never looked like serious PSL title contenders and they eventually finished fifth in the league. Chiefs were also eliminated from the Ned Bank Cup in the last 36, first round for PSL clubs. The story of last season. Mathaho started the first match of the season as Chiefs were defeated by Memlodi Sundowns on penalties in the MTN 8 quarterfinals. The experienced player remained a regular with a McHossey drawing 0-0 before securing a 2-1 win over TS Galaxy in their first two PSL matches of the campaign. However, a 2-0 defeat to Sundowns in the league followed and it was a beginning of a four-match winless run which included an embarrassing 4-1 loss to Royal AM. The Glamour Boys' form did improve in November as they won four of their five matches in the month with Tower being a starter while captaining the team in the absence of Bernard Parker. However, the former Bloemfontein Celtic star was sidelined by an injury in the following month and he only returned to action in Chiefs' 0-0 draw with Cape Town City in February this year, before helping the team claim a 1-0 win over Baroka. Tower was the hero in the Soweto Derby clash with Orlando Pirates as he netted the winning goal in a 2-1 win for Amak Hossi in March this year. His final game of the term was a 1-0 loss to Eros two weeks later and he was dropped by then Chiefs head coach Stuart Baxter who was dismissed in the following month. Matho was ignored by interim coach Arthur Zwayne which saw him end the season with 19 appearances across all competitions, helping the team keep seven clean sheets while also netting once in the process. Any transfer rumors? The one-time South Africa international was among the players who were tipped to leave Chiefs at the end of the recent season as Zwayne revamped his squad after being appointed as the new permanent head coach of the team. The retired winger had stated that some of the more senior players would be released and replaced by younger ones in the current PSL transfer window. However, the Limpopo-born player seems to have survived the chopping at the Naturina-based Giants. With the transfer window set to close on August 31st, Matho could still be offloaded by the Soweto Giants who have signed seven new players including defenders at the Mokik. Tower is yet to be linked with any club and former Chiefs defender Nanda Kubika recently stated that Matho was retained in the squad to mentor some of the younger players. The tough tackling player is the most experienced defender in the Amak Hossi Center Defense Department and the second longest serving player in the current squad after Itumaling Kuhn. The 2016 Olympic Games South Africa squad member, who was heavily linked with Orlando Pirates before he joined Chiefs in July 2012, is currently contracted to Chiefs until June 2023 having signed a new two-year deal in September 2019. One big fear for 2022-23. Lack of game time. Matho was never used by Zwayn after he took charge of the team in April this year and this will be the 32-year-old's biggest concern coming into the 2022-23 campaign. A season without regular game time could see his contract not being renewed and he would leave the club as a free agent. It would be difficult for him to find a club which can match his current wage at the McHossey due to his age if he wants to continue playing professional football. One big hope for 2022-23. Defensive mistakes. The 2014-15 PSL PSL Footballer of the Year nominee has become error-ridden in the last few seasons, making mistakes leading to goals. If Matho cuts out such mistakes from his game, 
he will be able to re-establish himself as Chiefs' best centre-back once again as he remains one of the best tacklers in the PSL. His impeccable experience and aerial prowess in both boxes can be vital for the team. Goals prediction for 2022-23 Tower will have to impress Wayne in pre-season and prove that he deserves to be a regular coming into the new campaign. Otherwise, the 2014-15 PSL Players Player of the Season will find it difficult to regain his place in the team and remain a fringe player. Thanks for watching.